if you are using an iPhone or an iPad, the first mechanism is that we have to download the Google site. Now, how to download the Google site? I will show you in this particular video. First, we have to go to App Store. After going on App Store, we will be going on Apps and on the search bar, I will be typing Google Sites. Now, as I'm typing Google Sites, you're required to search it. When you search, you are able to see the second option is Google Sites over there. But over there, you are able to see a cloud option. If you haven't downloaded initially, you will get a get option in iPhone or in iPad. But initially, I have downloaded it and I have just removed it. So that I'm able to show you how to download it. Hence, I'm able to get a cloud sign over there. So this cloud sign indicate it was initially downloaded, but I have just removed it. I will be clicking on the cloud sign. When you click on the cloud sign, you will be able to see that the Google sites are downloaded or it is getting downloaded. It will take few seconds in order to load the Google site till the time we have to wait. You are saying that the downloading is in progress. It will just take few moments in order to load it. We have to wait. As soon as the Google sites are loaded, you will be able to see an option called as open. When I click on open, this will be the Google site homepage. It will ask us for sign in page. Now, when I click on the sign in page, it will tell us account. One is my personal account, other is my school account. I will be selecting school account. Now you will be able to see entire Google sites that are present in my school account will be highlighted and at the bottom you are able to see the plus sign. When you click on the plus sign, you will be able to get the new Google sites. I'm giving a name to it and I'll, and I'll just click on the create button. When I click on the create button, this is the home screen of a Google site that will be displayed on iPhone or on iTab, iPad. 